This short video will explain how to use installation scripts and where to find them within the LabDo project. We prepared several scripts for technical helpers. You will find it in our wiki and with a short explanation how to use and what does this script do. You can download it directly from the wiki, save as. The best is to download it to uh, the desktop, then they are easy to handle. Or you can download it from our FTP server and same says save as and you can go to desktop and save it to the desktop or copy and paste it to the desktop if you have it already on USB stick or on other local drives. Here in another example I put it on my server in our network and I can copy and paste it to the desktop. So there are several ways to bring it to your local machine. Of course you must be connected to internet. I will sh show you three very useful scripts which we prepared. One is to install content. You have to make it executable, properties, permissions and for owner and group executable. So do so for all your scripts and otherwise they will not be running. You cannot execute them. Okay. Now you can also sort them on the desktop. Now you have to open a terminal. One way is to use the terminals which are offered here. Or another way is to use Control, Alt and T at the same time, which opens a terminal. CD desktop will bring you to the desktop. LS will list all the files on desktop and to say it always start with sudo blank dot slash and then you can copy and paste the name that's one way or just type it enter and it will start asking you part passwords and other entries this tool is now installing all software and updates in the background you can run most of the tools in parallel same way. Now I mark the installation script for content which takes all brings all the lo uh, the FTP server content to your local machine and it will ask you for the password which is again labdo as always in our project if not changed by yourself on your local machine and now the scripts will bring everything to your local machines. The content script um, can be speeded up by using a local USB disk drive, either USB stick or USB disk drive. So first time everything will be copied, next time uh, it will just be um, taken from the local disk. So Download and installing will be much faster for the content to use other things or you use Imaging and cloning of imaging images, which is the preferred way, uh, way to install anyway Another useful tool is to check which kind of CPU is installed um, This is not a script, but um, we prepared a text for you to be copied and pasted into a terminal. Just open it with leafpad for example, mark it, it starts with this grab, the second line, the third line, and you can copy and paste it into the terminal and if you press enter it will show you it is a PAE CPU and a 64-bit one. So you know which image to take because there are 32 bits, 64 bits, P, 
PAE and non-PAE CPUs and we prepared images for all of these CPUs. So I will stop now and I hope you can use the scripts. Thank you.